please excuse the crudity of this video. It's being shot on my very failing um, Sony uh, phone. The camera is just crap on it. It's like moisture's getting in. It's just it looks absolute garbage. Anyway, um, this is my uh, dual Xeon machine that you've uh, I've done a build video on. I have to link it in uh, down below, and it's been failing quite a few times recently, where it gets uh, five long beeps on power up. I'll see if I can. Uh, power it up and see if we can actually get the beeps this time. It'll probably make a fool out of me. But uh, I can't edit my videos at the moment. I have no other camera here at the uh, uh, office. They're all over at the lab. And um, I'll link in the data sheet for uh, the manual for the motherboard uh, down below. But five long beeps there, um, said, which I'm getting, says no con in or con out, which is uh, USB. Oh, no. It's... Five. You, you, hopefully you heard that. Five long beeps. It says like it's a keyboard thing, but no, I've plugged in a USB keyboard um, and it works and it does the same thing. But uh, also five short beeps plus one long beep is a memory error. So I'm like going to assume that like it's memory because it has come good after I've reseated the memory before. Um, like, like, well, just wiggled them, haven't completely reset them. So this thing's got uh, 128 gigs of RAM, uh, which is a ridiculous amount of uh, memory. Dual processor Xeon, and I've got eight SIMs, which are eight gig each. Um, so 64 gig per processor, um, which is just, you know, crazy. So I don't need that much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, take out the memory and uh, like only populated with like 16 gig or something like that. Um, I don't need, or 32 gig or something like that. I don't need that much. It's just chewing extra power anyway. Um, so yeah, I have to get this back up and running. Here's my main video editing uh, machine. Unfortunately, look, this SIM memory is under the heatsink. So to get these ones out, I'm going to have to uh, take out the CPU. And unfortunately, um, if we have a look at the manual... There it is, for those playing along at home, the X9DAE. It is my one, I believe, the DAE. Um, so, if you have a look down here, it tells you, of course, which, uh, which slots to use. And there it is. And it tells you to populate, so these two here, A1 and B1, so the first and the third slot there. And... Uh, e, what is it? E and F. So E and F. If you're only putting in four sims, so that's what I'll do. So I'll put in 16 and then 32. Uh, so I have like 32, which is more than enough. Um, I don't need that much for video editing, uh, contrary to what a lot of people think you don't, unless you're doing ridiculously fancy stuff, which I am not. Um, so uh, those two and those two. So yeah, I have to get out the ones close to the CPU. So it looks like I'm going to have to take out the CPU, which means I'll have to re- uh, heat, uh, heat sink compound it and jazz like that. So yeah, I've got to populate that one, that one, that one, and that one, the blue ones there. And I can leave the others because um, it tells you that uh, like if you want to do that with like um, only use I think four uh, sims, that's how you populate it. So it's got a list here somewhere of um, yeah, there it is. Uh, two CPUs and four DIMMs. There you go. That'll do very nicely. So populate A1, B1, E1, and F1. So that's what I'm going to do. Going to uh, whack those out. Have to take the processor out. I won't be able to film it, but uh, we'll see if that fixes it. Hopefully, I do have other memory to replace it, but with so many of them, um, I should be able to narrow it down. Hopefully. Mm, that's the plan, but yeah, once they're in there, unfortunately, I might just be able to get like the third one in and out again from the processor, but with the processor in there at a later point, but oh, I don't know, it's a bit dodgy. Anyway, see what happens. That's all my spare memory. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> there we go. I've uh, just replaced, I've only got four now, four DIM modules per, well, two per CPU giving me a total of uh, 32 gigs, and there's a, a ton left over. 128 was a ridiculous overkill. I didn't need a RAM disk or anything like that. There was no advantage for the type of rendering that I do. There's absolutely no advantage whatsoever to render into a uh, virtual disk or anything like that. Let's power it up and see what we get. Now, it could just work. That doesn't mean it's fixed. It'll be like a long-term thing. Uh, to see if it's actually uh, fixed or not, but 
uh, I want to see if the damn thing boots. That's what I want to see. Come on. Should... Five beeps. Nope. Same thing. Wah, 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 wah. Now, is Murphy getting me and I've just picked, like, dodgy memory or something like that? Or there's some other memory configuration? I oh, a thing, like, said, I don't know. I'll go back to the manual and have a look. Oh, hang on. I've gone back to uh, believing the, that the five beeps, well, believe in the manual, <laughs> guess you should, that five beeps... Uh, well, it doesn't say, you know, long, just regular beeps. Five short beeps plus one long beep is the memory, but five beeps is that con IO thing, i.e. the USB. So what I did is I took out the, um, I've got like an extra USB 3, four port USB 3 card on here, and um, it has booted. Oh, and I disconnected everything from the back as well, except, oh, except for the USB keyboard that I've got plugged in. And the damn thing booted. So let me try that again. What I'm going to do is uh, disc... Oh, come on, shut down. There we go, completely shut down. I'll disconnect the keyboard so we've got nothing. And I'll just reboot it without a keyboard. And maybe, you know, because it's like a server motherboard, maybe it just does not like having not having a keyboard attached. I'm not sure, but let's see if it does that. See if it beeps again. But yeah, um, it could be a coincidence. Once again, it, it seems to come and go, um, this uh, problem. So, But it's been solid for the last, like, 10 boots um, after changing this memory. Yep, there goes the beep, and it's going to boot. Yep, it has not done the five long beeps. So without that, so is it this? I'm going to plug this back in. And see if that makes a difference. It's probably going to make a fool of me. But anyway, it has booted and it was working a second ago. I won't bother showing you the screen. It's on the other side of the desk over here. But yeah, if, it, if we don't get those boot beeps after that, and then if we don't get the beeps, nah, it's booted. Okay, it's making an absolute fool out of me. Maybe it's the other USB device that was plugged in. Let me find out what that was. It turns out that was uh, the USB mic, and uh, I've also got my Logitech uh, USB, uh, like a mouse and uh, keyboard uh, receiver thing in my box. Um, so I'll plug that in and I'll give it a reboot. It's booting Windows at the moment, but yeah, it's just it's just magically come good again. Like. I don't know. Um, you know, some people might be suspecting maybe a power supply issue, but meh, I like don't have spare ones that just go readily swapping this sort of stuff. So I don't know if it boots and I can get back into editing my videos at the moment. That's all I care about. So that might be the end of this video, unfortunately. Hmm. Not exactly conclusive, but anyway, I'll just leave the memory out. There's no reason I need 128 gigs. Um, that's just crazy. So, anyway, if you don't see another clip here, it means I've uh, just gone back to work.